Today I want to take a look at deploying a virtual machine using Azure Resource Manager JSON templates. So here we have an exercise in the Microsoft Learn and we're going to go through this and take a look at making a VM using a JSON template. Here's our JSON template. It has a lot of stuff in it. Username and password for virtual machine. It's using Windows 2016 data center. Size of standard. IP addresses, dy dynamic for public IP, and 3389 for remote desktop. A lot of different settings. There's some cool stuff in here. A little bit hard to read though. So if you come over here, there's a really cool utility, Azure Resource Manager Visualization. And you can paste in your JSON, go back to the I icon, so that's kind of graphical versus code, and it renders out what the JSON had. It's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, we can move some stuff around, maybe make those a little more compressed to zoom in and see things a little better. Click on one of the objects and it takes us into that particular part of the template. Pretty cool. And like Network Security Group is connected to the VNet. There's a dependency here. So you can see the direction of the arrow and the connectivity. And that's, um, yeah, that's a really cool way to, to kind of see what's in the JSON template. So we have a virtual network with a network security group. We have a public IP, storage account, a NIC, and the VM itself. Cool. So over here, we're going to go ahead and walk through the steps of creating the um, virtual machine. And first thing we're going to do, this is a bash cloud shell. We're going to set a couple variables, resource group, location, and also uh, there'll be another one for later. So that'll create our resource group. <clears throat> we want to set a username and password. For password, we're using open SSL rand base 64. And it's interesting command, but this randomly generates a password for us on the bash shell. So here we can go ahead and do a prefix for our DNS label prefix. And if we want to take a look at that, you can try echo command. And we could even try echoing out password. There we go. We'll take some of these things and copy them to Notepad, just in case we need it later. All right, now we're going to do AZ group validate. That will verify our JSON template is, in fact, an ARM template and not some other kind of JSON. And then we're going to execute the same command, but this time with the word create. So AZ group deployment create. There's our JSON file, username, password, prefix. Cool. Go ahead and let that run. Now with our ARM template deployed, we can do an Azure VM list to enumerate the running VM. And we can do a group deployment show to indicate the status of the deployment. And deployment says succeeded. It offers the JSON URL that you use for input and the name of the resource group. So going back over to the VM list, we should see our VM up and running, which we do simple win VM with the location East US, and we supplied that with a parameter on the console. So this is a really efficient way to take your ARM template, deploy it to a subscription, simply by clicking into Cloud Shell, which is available up here in the top menu bar with the prompt icon. And yeah, if you want to visualize the JSON template, you can also use armviz.io. Thanks for watching.